Out of there, pipe smokers, old pipe pops here. <clears throat> I'm uh, smoking that uh, Big Ben, uh, little nose warmer. It takes the nine millimeter filters, and I got one of those uh, balsa wood filters in there that uh, PA pipe guy Mike sent me. Works real good. I. I'm really pleased that he sent them to me. A lot better than the regular filters for sure. Well, I uh, just got back from a little trip to a ye old pipe and tobacco shop and uh, had to stock up on some supplies, some <coughs> pipe cleaners and some flints and some of my uh, regular go-to blends of tobacco. And uh, while I was there, I uh, they noticed that they'd increased their uh, stock of uh, tins, and I had intended to order some of this uh, blend online, but they lo and behold, I got there and they had it. It's a blend that uh, Cal of uh, Smoke Rings and Pipe Dreams was smoking and uh, had commented that his tastes in tobacco are kind of pedestrian and that sort of follows suit with me. I uh, I have a similar pedestrian taste in tobaccos, but it's uh, Captain Cool, uh, a McClellan's blend. And so I bought this uh, tin and I'm going to give it a try. Uh, he said it has similarities to uh, no, uh, Captain Black or uh, some of the Lane Limited uh, blends like uh, RLP6 and the 1Q. So I'm going to give it a try. So I picked up my supplies and that. And while I was there, <clears throat> I uh, shopping around at the pipes and well, I broke down and bought another church warden. It's uh, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I guess it's Joe's. It's J O H S is the brand name. Uh, it's got some nice grain in it, uh, and a little rustication on one side, and it's got a really nice big deep bowl, which I like. I like uh, you know a lot of the church wardens have. Uh, pretty small bowls and uh, I like the little bigger bowl so I, I broke down and bought it. Uh, so I'll give that a try and you'll probably see that one in my next video. Uh, I was uh, wanting to respond to Jay's last video about the <coughs> pipe uh, YouTube community and what it means to to him and to to us and for me the presenters all have a, a little different uh, thing to offer some of them <laughs> watching it's like watching uh, soap operas some of them are incredibly informative everybody is always very uh, forthcoming with information and uh, very cordial. Uh, I feel like I've gained a whole circle of friends and acquaintances that I would have never known or met any other way. And many of the presenters have contributed to what little knowledge I have about pipes uh, tremendously. Uh, I am in in ever in gratitude for for that uh, it's a it's a pleasure and I, I enjoy the communication the comments and uh, uh, the, sort of the long-distance correspondence with everybody uh, uh, it's a it's a real pleasure for an old coot like me <laughs> to be able to have somebody to communicate with about stuff that I have some in common with. So, uh, just thought I'd uh, 
respond to Jay in that way and show you my new pipe and uh, give a big uh, howdy to everybody and another big thank you to PA Pipe Guy and uh, I see that he did post another video which I appreciate. Uh, guess that's uh, about all I got to talk about today so I guess I'll just leave it at that. <laughs>